Welcome everyone to clinical demonstration videos for complete dentures making. In part 1 of this video series, we would like to discuss on history taking and clinical examinations. During the history taking, you have to ask the patient's chief complaint or reasons for receipt. From the chief complaint, you can probe more on the history of presenting complaints, such as how long has the patient had the problem, can the patient eat, does it affect the patient's speech? Is the patient happy with the current appearance? After that, you ask the patients regarding their medical status and the medical history. In dental history, you have to ask the patients if he or she has had any dentures before. Is the current one his or her first set of dentures? And how long has the patient been wearing the dentures? How many sets of dentures has the patient previously had? When was the last dental extraction? Why were they removed? And was it a difficult extraction? And lastly, you might want to find out the patient's attitudes and expectations toward the denture wearing. What do they think about their present set of dentures? And what are the features that they would like to see in their new dentures? Next, in the clinical examinations, we start off with the extraoral examination. You have to check the patient's muscle tone, the facial symmetry, the TMJ, enlargement of limb nodes, and also the labial support of the current denture. With the patient wearing his existing set of dentures, you have to evaluate the labial support, the aesthetics, the phonetics of the present denture. Intraorally, you have to check the extensions of the mandibular and maxillary denture base. For the mandibular denture, it has to extend halfway up to the retromolar pads. Functional extensions onto the buccal shelves and the lingual sulcaid. For the maxillary denture, the periphery of the denture has to extend to functional width and the depth of the sulcus and posteriorly to the post dam. Check the stability of the denture by alternately pressing on the right and the left occlusal surface of the premolar teeth to detect any rocking or rotational movements. Check the retentions by pulling out the denture at maxillary canines regions. This is to assess the adequacy of the peripheral seal. Finally, check the occlusions of the denture to see if the occlusion has even contact and the presence of tooth wear on the occlusal surfaces. Before you take out the denture, check the vertical dimensions of occlusions and resting dimensions of occlusions in order to find out the freeway space. Now we have to check the hard and soft tissue inside the oral cavity. Examine the oral mucosa, the lips, tongue, cheeks, palate, floor of the mouth, oral pharynx, and saliva. Look for any abnormalities that might affect the dentures, stability, and retentions. After you have checked the soft tissue, then you check the hard tissue. Check the edentulous ridge, palpate the ridge to see if there's any retained root or flabby ridge. Record the size of the arch, shapes of the arch, whether it's U-shaped or V-shaped, and the shape of the ridge, if it's a flat, knife edge or rounded. In this case, the maxillary and the mandibular arch are U-shaped and rounded in form. Lastly, you measure the height of the ridge at the anterior and posterior regions, of the maxillary and the mandibular edentulous ridge. 